Hello, beloved of the Diocese of Indianapolis. I am here at the University of Kent in Canterbury and Lambeth is underway. We haven't actually begun our official sessions yet, but we have already been welcomed by Archbishop Justin Welby and his wife, Carolyn Welby, and with all the kinds of welcome that you would hope for as 650 Samad bishops from across the Anglican Communion gather here, as well as about 450 spouses. I do need to say how um, upsetting it is that we are not able to gather here with Bishop Mauricio Andrade of Brasilia. He and Sandra have elected to stay home because of Sandra's health and we are missing him dearly. I just finished a meeting just now with our group of bishops who have been convening over Zoom for the last two years and Bishop Mauricio was a part of that group and this is the first time we've met in person. Other things we've done today have been to have a big meal in the meal venue and to, again, receive those first opening remarks and greetings. I am next going on to meet with our province, the Episcopal Church, as we gather with Presiding Bishop Michael Curry to have a time of connection and gathering ourselves as we begin our work together here. At the forefront of our minds, of course, are the calls, which used to be called resolutions here, but the Lambeth calls, which are calling our attention to focus on matters of human dignity and climate change. And you may already be following some of that dialogue and debate, particularly on human dignity. I'll have more to say perhaps in writing soon, but you'll want to know that we have already seen some changes to the language that was troubling to us, those of us who care about the full inclusion of LBTQIA folks in our midst, and we are optimistic that we will be able to affirm a statement that is something that we in the Diocese of Indianapolis would want to affirm. I am also here to say that um, Harrison is meeting with the spouses, and so he's not with me, but um, it is, it's great to be able to already gather with folks um, that you might already be in relationship and know. And so I'll have pictures posted, pictures from Bishop Moses of Atuch, the diocese there that um, we've had a visit from earlier in my Episcopacy back in 2017, 2018 and other friends like that. So stay tuned. I hope to do a video diary every couple of days or so or more, depending on the action and um, the news that seems really pertinent to get to you right away and encourage you to continue to follow. If you're on social media, I'm posting things on Instagram and Facebook as well. And so feel free to drop in comments there or questions you have and know that I am deeply appreciating all of your prayers of support as we make our way and pray together here at Lambeth. See you soon, beloved.